Today I'm going to make a melodic dubstep song from scratch going over tips and tricks on how to go from start to finish on a new track. But before we get into the video, help support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and comment down below if any of my videos have helped you out. So here I've got a fresh project and the reason why it looks like it's already got a lot going on is because I always start my songs with a project template that I continuously update with common sounds or presets that I use and I would highly recommend doing the same as well because it saves me a ton of time and I can immediately go in and work on any ideas that I might have at the time. And so majority of the time I like to start with the drop just as personal preference and I like to start with the chords but first let's get some drums down so we can start with a beat. And here I've got my kick and snare with a crash symbol on top. And if you want to know why I put a symbol on, check out my video on three tips to make your drop hit. So let me put down a simple beat so we can go ahead with the drop sense. And here I've got my drums triggering a sidechain using Serum FX, which I learned from AU5, so definitely check out his video if you're interested in learning that as well. And now that we got some drums, I'll move on to the drop synths and start with my chords, which in this case are the super saws. And I'll go with the common chord progression, which is the 1, 4, 6, 5 progression. And to make things easier, turn the scale on in your MIDI clips so it only shows the notes in the key that you're working with. And now I'll build the chords as simple triads first, then I'll move some notes around until I find something I'm satisfied with. And now I'll go into the actual patch, which is just a default serum, and I'll tweak it around to my liking. And by the way, I have some other videos on how I go about layering my drops in, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. Now this layer is sounding good, so I'll just make one more layer that's pitched up an octave and detuned a bit more. Now I'll move on to my bass and write down the root notes of my chords. And I won't go into my sub patch to save some time, but all it is is a clean sine wave with no effects on it. And now that I got my sub, I'll move on to my bass synths. And I'll go in and tweak another default serum patch. And now I'm going to duplicate it and do the same as my super saws, which is to add a wider, more detuned layer. Now I'll go ahead and turn on my white noise layer, which is made from a serum noise oscillator. Now let's go to the lead, and for the leads I like to mess around on my MIDI keyboard until I find some notes that are sounding good, and I'll do some further tweaking on the actual MIDI clip. And so after messing around on the keyboard, I think I found some notes I want to work with, and now it's time to find a cool pattern or melody. pretty cool so I'll stick with this for now and by the way if you want to make this lead sound I'm using make sure to check out my video on how to make a melodic dubstep lead and now let's hear what we got for the drop so far and yeah now I'll 
I'll just double the length of the drop and I think that's a good stopping point. In the next video, I'll start to construct the build up and eventually get to the mixing and mastering as well. So if you want to see those videos, make sure to subscribe and like and comment on this video as it would help the channel a ton. But yeah, this is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.